Kathy with Kathy's Crafty Creations and DIYs. Welcome to my channel or welcome back. I am Tickle Pink that you're here today. Today I have for you a new theme. We're going to do a lemon farmhouse kitchen theme. What do you think about that, Sabby? You like it? You can't really eat that. I know you want to. I am so happy about doing these. I had a good time making them. I hope you like them as much as I do. It's just a couple of DIYs that are very super easy. You can do them in your kitchen if you're into the lemon decor. And I've had a lot of people tell me in the comments that they do like the lemon decor. And that's another thing, guys. I'm here for you. You know, if there's something that you want to see me do, leave it in the comments below. And you never know, I just might do it. Also, I wanted to tell you, be looking on that community tab on my channel. That's where I will post like some important updates, uh, maybe an important video that's coming out. I'm wanting to do a live soon. A live is where like myself and maybe another crafter would get together and we just talk about whatever. You get to know us a little bit better, you know, more intimately because like you see us crafting, and, you know, you. a lot of you people say, you know, I feel like you're my friend, like I've known you forever. I want you guys to, like, really know me. And I'm here for you. So, y'all let me know of any ideas that you can think of. You know, just leave them down in the comments below. As always, leave your prayers in the comments below if you have any. Or send them on the email. Send them on the snail mail. I don't care. But we're going to get those prayers going up for you. So anyways, without further ado, I guess we'll just jump on into the farmhouse and see what old Cat Cat has been churning up in there for you this week. Uh-huh. DIY number one is going to be this little mini lemon rolling pin. Guys, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, if you have been here before, welcome, welcome. Here we go. I got this little mini rolling pin at a dollar store here in town. It's called Dollar and Save or something. It's a new little place. And I've got these napkins that I got off of eBay. And if you remember, I've showed you before with the napkins and decoupaging, you only want to use one ply. So I had to peel that uh, second ply away from the napkin. I'm using this color called light yellow, even though it's very bright yellow. It's a gorgeous yellow color. And I'm going to give this rolling pin just one quick go over on the body of the rolling pin because you're not really going to see it. It's just going to be underneath that napkin. But we wanted a little bit of color underneath that napkin. So I take my Mod Podge, and I like to use the matte Mod Podge. And I'm just literally going to roll this napkin onto the rolling pin. Um, it was super simple. I just put my Mod Podge down and literally just rolled it. But I did this very, very slowly. Even though I have the video sped up, I did it very slowly. I just tapped it with my finger. You never want to rub when you're doing decoupage. You only want to tap, 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 and that's what I did. Um, you'll see me here just every once in a while kind of tapping with my finger, and that's all I did. And then I cut away the bottom portion that we did not need. Then I just added a little bit more Mod Podge on that so it would seal it very well. Um, and this is not going to be used to, it's not an actual rolling pin. I'm going to use this. Um, just as decoration. I wanted to make that known. <laughs> and I'm going to use a white. The color's called white. It is by Apple Barrel. And I'm just going to do the little handles white. And I gave them two coats. Another important thing is to always remember to let each um, coat dry before you start the second coat. Or it's going to gum up and not look good. Also, I used my little handy dandy dryer that I use, my little craft dryer, to dry the body uh, part off of the rolling pin. 
that way that's why i'm touching it at this point but before that's dry you don't want to touch the decoupage because it'll stick to your fingers and pull it off and you'll destroy your piece you don't want to do that there's my little handy dandy dryer i got this ribbon from walmart it's just little black and white gingham ribbon and all i'm going to do is just tie a simple shoestring little bow tie on both ends this was such an easy project gorgeous little project and then i cut the little dovetails and here it is guys look how adorable this is i mean it's even cuter in person and it's small it's not a big one hey if you're new here i'd like to ask you to subscribe to my channel and hit that little bell over to the right of it and hit all and that way you can see all my videos when they come up we like to laugh we love each other we pray for each other here on my channel i would love to have you a part of my little family here our second diy is going to be this little lemon decanter that i found at a thrift store it's gorgeous it had lemons on it it says lemonade on it and i decided to get some baking soda and some white paint we're going to give this thing a little texture and there's really no rhyme or reason on how you do it it depends on how thick how much texture you want a lot of times i use one part paint to one part baking soda see how thick this is how thick i wanted it i slowed this down so you could see and i did not want this too thick because i was afraid that it would cover up um the lemons all those little etched places in the lemons and i didn't want to cover it up i just wanted just a little bit of texture so what i did was added just a slight bit of the um, baking soda and i used a lot more paint than baking soda i usually use a one to one ratio and i went over this thing one good time i let it dry and it's incredibly important to let it dry before you start your second coat on it. And this is how it turned out. Look how adorable this is. I took my little sanding sponge because I wanted to go over all those little parts that had the lemons and the little words that say lemonade. And I very softly scratched over those. I was doing this in a way where I would purposely you know take the paint off and there's a few spots that i took the paint off you know that doesn't have writing or the lemons but i wanted to do it that way and i went around the top and took that off too because i was going to put the texture at the top but then i decided i wanted to paint the top and this is how it turned out is this not just gorgeous i got this for two bucks at a thrift store you never know what you're going to find at a thrift store. That's why I like them so much. I use this chalkboard paint that comes from Dollar General. And I went around the top rim one good time. And then I realized that that lip up there is a lot thicker than just the top. And that it would look best if I did the whole area up there. Because I was just going to do the little top rim and then I was like, no, I'm going to go all the way around. And that's what I'm doing right here. I started going down just a little bit further. And I covered that whole rim in black. And then I even ran it lightly, very, very lightly over the lemons. And used my finger to kind of rub it out. To give it a little bit of a... Mm, to accent that. Do you know what I mean? I wanted the the lemons to be accented i wanted the word lemonade to be really accented and i got it pretty good whenever i used my sanding sponge but i wanted even more and this was a little tiny pointy paintbrush so i was able to go in and even do the words and here's where i go all the way down the lip of that because it just looked better it had that it's almost like a milk bottle this little lemonade decanter is almost like a milk bottle. So I wanted to get that whole top lip. I hope everyone's had a good week. 
sorry it took me a little bit to get a video out this week. We've had some things going on. Just life, you know how it goes. It gets rough sometimes, <laughs> but we got to keep looking up, right? So I've got my beautiful gingham um, ribbon here. I'm going to cut it. And what I decided to do was just go around and not tie it. I didn't want to tie it right here. I just wanted to go around, put my ribbon on, and stop right there. You know how when you tie a ribbon that it kind of like folds down on the ends, and I didn't want that to happen. That's why I did it this way. And I got um, a little bit more ribbon measured out to how big I want a little bow to be. I had a very specific type of bow in mind. I took a small piece of the ribbon and actually glued it to the middle part where my bow is here. And I glued it around the back. And that's what I used as my little ribbon. I thought that was very classy looking. It wasn't too much. And I didn't want the tails, you know, how you usually make a bow and you have the tails hanging down. I didn't want that. And that's the reason why I did the bow this way. I fluffed it out just a little bit. I took some jute twine and I went right up above the top where that bow is. And I just started wrapping around. And I probably wrapped around between 10 and 20 times. I didn't really count, but I just kept wrapping and wrapping until it got to where I wanted to stop. I kind of went about halfway up between the bow and the top of the little lemon jar. Then I used my lighter to burn off any little hairies or whatever you want to call them that comes from the jute twine. And then I'm going to make one of my little uh messy ribbon bows and the way i do this is i take this baker's twine it's yellow and white and i wrapped it around about 10 times around my finger making a loop and then i just tie another piece onto it and then you cut it and it makes a little bow and i call that a messy ribbon bow because i don't know any other word to call it and I haven't really seen anybody else make these. Um, so, I pop that right over the top of the bow, and this is how it turned out. I just love this, guys. I think this is gorgeous. I have $2 in this. DIY number three is going to be this beautiful lemon decor with some flowers in it. You got to have that in your kitchen. So I've got some chiffon cream and I have this old beat up cutting board. This thing came from a thrift store too. Most of my stuff does come from the thrift store. And it was just awful looking. It was cut up, nasty looking, you know, had marks all in it. But that doesn't matter because all of that's going to be covered up. It, this is going to be just for decoration. So what I did was I gave it two good coats of the, no, I gave it one coat of the chiffon cream. I have some more napkins, surprise, surprise. And these napkins came from eBay also. I pulled it apart so I could have one ply. And we're gonna put this, it's a little lemon wreath. And I thought this was the cutest thing I've ever seen. So we're gonna put this on the bottom portion. And I took my matte Mod Podge, and instead of putting the Mod Podge down first, I laid the napkin down and then went over it. The reason that I did this is the cutting board has that ridge all the way around the, the, mm, around that, you know, where you actually cut at, and it's got the ridge around it. Well, I knew that if I put the Mod Podge down and then did that, that it was it would just stick weird. So, in my mind, I thought this would be the best way to do it. And you can decoupage this way. You can, decoupaging is so easy. That's why I like it. I use it a lot. And I promise you guys, since I've used decoupaging in these napkins in the last, I think, three videos, I will not in the next one. <laughs> I promise. It's just, guys, it's so easy and it always comes out beautiful 
when you do decoupage. That's why I like it so much. It's one of my favorite things to do when I'm DIYing. It just, everything comes out perfect, y'all. Okay, <clears throat> see that little ridge that goes around this cutting board? I wanted to paint that black, so that's what I'm doing right here. Um, I just went all the way around it, and at the bottom, you know, that part is going to be totally covered up, so I really didn't even have to paint that bottom part, but I did anyway. You know, I missed you guys so much this past week that I, it took me a little bit to get another video out, and every day I thought about y'all, and I prayed. I've, every single prayer that you guys have asked me to pray, I pray, and I remember y'all daily. I just want you to know that. I love each and every one of you. I am extremely thankful for you because if it wasn't for you i wouldn't be here and this is what i love to do i love to craft i love to make people happy i love to laugh i love to lift others up right here what i'm doing is i have that black chalkboard paint that comes from the dollar general i just put a little bit of it on a baby wipe and rubbed it on this little um crate that comes from the dollar tree what about these crates, y'all? I love, love, love these crates. They are the cutest little things I've ever seen. And they're tiny. Like I, That's why I like them, because they're little bitty and they're so cute. But I just went around it one good time, just kind of rubbed it on and kind of rubbed it in a little bit, you know, because I was looking for, I wanted to do a little bit darker than just a stain. So that's what I did. I got my antique waverly wax and i just went over this real good distressed it um and I, well, on the napkin part i kind of went a little heavy because i wanted it to look old and beat up i mean it kind of does anyway but uh yeah to, just to give it the whole flair and then i just glued that little crate right to the very bottom front and look at this it stands up on its own i have these travel bottles you get these at the Dollar Tree, and you get them in, like, the bath section where they have, like, the little curtain rings and stuff like that. What I'm going to do, I took the tops off. I went around with some jute twine around the top part of these <clears throat> probably about 10 times. And then I just uh, squished it all together so it would be up at the very top. Well, not the very top, because that's the lip of the bottle. I didn't want it up at the lip of the bottle. I wanted it down just a little bit. So, I put my jute twine on all three of those. These bottles are so cute. I burn off all the little fuzzies with my lighter. And don't be afraid to do this, guys. I mean, I hold my lighter on it for a while, and I've never burnt anything or anybody. <laughs> Um, and then I just glued down all three of these little bottles. I have these little things. They're called DIY stickers. They're little wood stickers from the Dollar Tree. And they had lemons on them. So I was like, oh, we got to use that. And I'm using this color, the, the light yellow. That just flips me out that they call it light yellow. Because look how bright that is. And it is a gorgeous gorgeous yellow color and for lemons it just was right on okay i put a little bit of the white and look one dot one dot of that yellow and i mixed it up because i'm wanting a super super light 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 yellow and i'm going on the inside of this lemon to the little i don't know what you call that the pulp of the of the lemon i guess the pulp um, and I put the lighter color there so it would kind of stick out. The Dollar Tree has a lot of lemon decor. You know, they had the plates come out and stuff like that. Um, so a lot of this stuff you can get at the Dollar Tree. You know, I got a lot of mine from thrift store, but you don't have to get it at the thrift store. You can find a lot of this stuff at the Dollar Tree. I put my two little lemons on the front of my crate. And how adorable is this, y'all? Oh, my gosh. So, I've got these flowers that came from the Dollar Tree. I don't know what they're called because the tag was already off of them. They almost look like, they almost look like violets, but like white, you know? So, I stuck those in there and look how beautiful this is, guys. It's so pretty as just a decoration to sit in the corner 
cute. DIY number four. All right, guys, here we go. I've got these jars. They came from the thrift store too. I took my napkins with the little lemon wreaths and I just tore around it. When you're decoupaging, you don't want any kind of like straight lines. Do you know what I mean? I could have cut this in a perfect circle, but you don't want to do that because it just kind of makes it look it's like it sticks out. Do you know what I'm saying? If you kind of tear it like that, it looks more natural. I just simply put my Mod Podge down and I fold up the napkin like a taco is the only way I can describe it. And I start laying it in the middle and just kind of lay it down. Just let it lay on its own. And then I kind of use the paintbrush to kind of smooth out any wrinkles. You're going to get wrinkles anytime that you decoupage pretty much. I'm not perfect at it even though I do it a lot. But every time I guarantee you I get wrinkles. But that does not bother me because to me the wrinkles makes it look more vintage. Which is what I'm all about. I love vintage. I love farmhouse. So it works out. You know you don't want it to be perfect. Well, I don't, maybe you do, and I couldn't help you there because I don't know how to make it perfect. <laughs> I put black ribbon around the little top part there and just glued it on, and I just tied a simple shoestring bow with the black and white gingham ribbon again. And I cut my little tails and stuck it right on there. This was the easiest DIY. I mean, it's almost a shame to call it a DIY. That's all I did. But see how beautiful that turned out, and there's no harsh edges. And I made this little thing for y'all. I thought this was cute. God allows a little sour so we can learn to appreciate the sweetness. I put Psalms 34 and 8 on there, and it says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that takes refuge in him. We're going to DIY number five. We're going to make this little lemon. This is one of those little home sweet home signs that comes from the Dollar Tree. Um, I could not get the top piece off, so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to paint right over it. I wanted to keep the part on there that says home sweet home because sweet lemon, it went together. Um, I painted the top white, and when I let that totally dry with my little handy dandy craft dryer, I went over it with that light yellow once again, and I only did one coat of this light yellow. That was all it needed. This color is so bright. It's from folk art, and it's called enamels. Gorgeous color, y'all. It says it that it's made for glass. I didn't try it on any of my glass stuff, but I'd like to. Now, I'm no artist, but I just looked at a picture of a lemon and I'm trying to do the pulp here. So I started at the back of it, made like, you know, went around and then kind of came in. It kind of looks like a little corn kernel. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so I just did the best that I could to make it look like that. We're not going for, for perfection here, guys. You know, we like to DIY. If you like to DIY and you like to put your own stuff up in your home like I do, that's the beauty of it. I, none of us are perfect. We don't make perfect DIYs. And to me, the beauty lies in the little imperfections. Does that make sense? It's kind of like a person. Sometimes those of us that have deep scars or, you know, imperfections in our life are the people that shine the brightest. Does that make sense? Because I know... Like in my life, I've been through a lot of things, terrible things, hard things growing up and stuff. And it's like, it made me who I am. And I'm thankful for all of those scars and the harshness. And I feel that way about my DIYs. That It's, it's no different. I love the imperfections because... It just, it, it, it's an original, okay? We could all be cookie cutter, but God didn't make us that way. He made us all with little imperfections, but we can all shine in our own little way. <laughs> so I took some of that white. 
I went around where the pulp is there. I keep calling it the pulp. I don't even know if that's what you call it, but hey, it's what I'm calling it today. So, I went around the pulp with the white there, and I made tried to make it look the best like a lemon that I could. And I thought I did a pretty good job for somebody that can't even draw a straight line. You know, I mean, m my drawing is terrible, but I just did the best I could. I cut a couple of pieces of that black ribbon, and I cut a couple of pieces of the gingham, and I just made little X's. This is one of those messy bows. You tie it together with your jute string. You tie it in the middle, and then you just kind of fluff it out. It's called a messy bow, and these are the cutest little bows, I think, and that's what makes them cute is because they're imperfect. They're messy. They're you know, guys, I want to just remind you again, you know, I have new people watching. If you have anything that you'd like for me to pray for, for you, leave it in the comments below. I leave my email if you don't want to put it there. I've got snail mail. I've got any way that you can reach me, just reach me. I'll pray for you, I promise. And you guys, keep up the prayers for me too. I super duper love y'all for that. I appreciate it. You don't know how much I appreciate you. And here it is, home sweet home. And just remember, guys, I'm going to show you the final reveal. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe and become a part of our little family. We love each other. We pray for each other. We laugh. We have a lot of laughs on here. It's usually at my goofiness. But there's nothing wrong with getting together, forgetting our troubles, and laugh for the little 30 minutes that we're on here, guys. Let's do intro. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Look alive. Look alive. Look alive. You always go to sleep when the lights hit you. Okay? So, straighten up. Look alive. Quit making that sound. Buddy, life's not that bad. I love you so much. Your breath smells like a thousand deaths. <laughs> oh, you're so funny. You know, I hate when these videos come to an end. Oh, but it's that time, guys. They said we're having a cookout. We're getting to eat. Yeah. They eat with their mama tonight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You, 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 you